But anyway, I want to thank you for joining us at Joshua's House for Christian Artists. I'm your host, Apostle Dr. Hilovis Science Gibson, better known as SMR, up here in Billings, Montana, where we're having a wonderful warm 40 degrees weather. Hallelujah! We're out of those minus zeros. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have an awesome guest that I've known for years. And I got connected to him for one of his songs that's a classic and still rock. It's called Hold Still. We're going to in, uh, interview our artist now. He's going to tell you his name, and then we're going to go through the whole thing. Go ahead. Hey, my name is Antoine Hilton from Long Island, New York, and I'm blessed to be on your show. Good to have you. Good, good to be here. I'm excited about it. Amen. Amen. I have been watching you over the years. Uh, I want to commend you on. I'm watching a lot of the youths that use their marketing tools correctly. Y'all be having some awesome videos. Yeah. You're getting out there. I've been watching you over the years. I love that one you did, which you did on your mom's man. That was precious. Oh, thank you that so was much. Precious. Thank and you then, so much. It, and then some of the songs you covered. I didn't know you was a crooner now. All right there. That's what I saw the covers. I was like, oh, all right there. Thank God. You know what I mean? Yes, we're Christians and everything else, but we, we have other styles of music that we like. I love a lot of jazz. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And I like old school, and I like real crooners. You took some of them old classics and just put a whole new flavor on it. And I was like, wow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Gifted, yeah. talented, and 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 increasing your your talent, your fine tuning it, and that's awesome. Even though that was a gift at birth, more or less, than what I read on your bio. So tell mm -hmm. us how long you've been singing and everything, and what got you really started? Why singing? Um, I have a. I grew up in a family of singers, okay. uh, singers and, and and ministers, and my older brothers. They had a quartet group called the Cunningham Specials, and. I formed a little group trying to be like my big brothers. <laughs> and I formed the, the Cunningham Special Juniors. I sung and my big brothers was there. They was like, oh, you're going to sing with us. Wow. And I realized, wow, well, I got something. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But that's how I started. That's how I started singing. And then um, just watching some of the greats, as you mentioned, um, some of the covers I covered, just paying homage to, to people that paved the way just for singers, people who can actually outright just sing without all the extra stuff, but I, I, I just wanted to pay homage to them. And mm -hmm. during the pandemic, it was really like, everybody was down, it was sad. I just want to give something to people to lift their lift they spirits up and, and just make them feel good, as you did. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I suggest everybody tap into his YouTube channel. You'll be very blessed with so many videos. And as well as um, he does them. See, that's why I, that's why I love about this new generation. We mm -hmm. they don't sit up there and, and talk about no Madison Avenue nothing. It's like pull out that camera. We can do it. We can edit it. And I mean, y'all be having some nice stuff. I cannot complain. I sit up there and say, mm hmm, and it flows. It flows. And where did you uh, get the gift on a media production? Where did you learn that from? You know, I I was always considered like a sponge. So okay. funny, I got on. So whoever I was around, I learned from. So I would sit there and I watch, and then I go try it on my own. So I took pieces and pieces from other places, people that did my video, people that did other people's video, and um, in the media and all that stuff. And I just studied and I watched. They said, if you want to be great, you got to study people who's great. So that's what I did. I just studied and just it became a gumbo. I didn't go to school or nothing like that. It was just all God just allowed me to absorb that knowledge. Amen. And, and and because of that, that using that marketing tool, it brought a lot of people to you because mm -hmm. people sing all the time. And, and that's awesome. But we're we're past the age when now we need to see the videos. <laughs> MTV busted it open for videos. And now, you know, and to see so many Christian videos now, it is awesome. Mm. Well, let us go into your first song, Hold Still. That is still a classic. That's it, that's a that's real even today. I want yeah. you to tell us about this one. Um, around that time, uh, we were going through some things in life um, and we were trying to figure it out on our own. And I realized that the more I try to figure things out on my own, the more of a mess I make. Mm -hmm. You got to just be still, hold still and just watch God work it out. He said, be still and know that I am God. Yes. So that 
inspire me. And then I wanted to make the young people move and groove. And at the same time, getting that message inside their heart and spirit. Well, I must say you covered all the bases because I'm saying you, that's a good one to start your day with. I mean, the the music, the flow of the beat, you know, you can just hold still, watch that <laughs> do it. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> you know, and as I be listening to it, I be, yeah, and it, it is true. Just hold still. And when you hold it still, it doesn't mean you got to be depressed. Be excited by it because this too shall pass. Amen. There's Amen. no doubt about it, but you just got to hold still. Take that pause for a minute. Because a lot of times that pause for a minute is for you to regroup. Yes. Be still and watch God move some things out of your way that you didn't even know was there in your way blocking you. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen.